Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, the many videos I have uploaded to my channel and hopefully the information and videos uh, is helping you out as you collect world or US coins. Um, the objective of my videos is probably to help uh, beginners uh, and investors as they collect coins from around the world. So if they want to uh, kind of expand their knowledge uh, to uh, world coins, uh, these are maybe just a starting point for you collectors. And if you're an investor, uh, there are some very nice high-end coins that maybe you can put in your portfolio that you'll uh, see some very nice uh, return on investments, okay? Uh, always strive to get the best coins possible for your collection. Uh, enjoy the hobby as uh, always doing a, a search for these specific coins uh, do tend to be difficult. And of course, uh, sometimes it does take quite a bit of time to locate some of these coins, okay? Uh, a lot of these coins that I do are, uh, you know, some are vintage coins, some are modern coins. Uh, there are lots of modern coins that are scarce to rare. And of course, one of those countries that I do collect is uh, Panama coins. Uh, very popular coins uh, that is uh, highly collected for their uh, scarcity, rarity, and also for their silver. Uh, a lot of these modern coins, especially the ones that were struck in silver, uh, many of these coins, especially the big four ounce uh, and, and two ounce uh, large 20 Balboas were heavily melted down uh, in the 80s uh, when silver hit uh, $60 per ounce. So their value definitely uh, skyrocketed uh, based on the value of the silver. So many of these coins uh, did see the melting pot. And when that occurred, uh, definitely the scarcity of these coins uh, became pretty much a rarity and highly collectible by knowledgeable collectors of Panama coins. Uh, what we have here today, uh, I've got some, I got five large coins. All of them are 20 Balboas. Um, some of these are uh, nice four ounces uh, with uh, 925 fine silver. And a couple of them are, or three of them have 50% uh, silver. Uh, these are very highly collectible coins. And of course, uh, since many of these coins did see the melting pot, uh, they are pretty much scarce to rare. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, these were struck uh, by the Franklin Mint. Uh, and of course, the Franklin Mint's uh, objective is to get a lot of their money from their proof coins. And they would definitely uh, promote their proof coins. And of course, uh, to make it legal, uh, or legal tender, they would uh, strike a few business strike, either a matte version or a specimen version, limited number, very small number. And of course, uh, these numbers definitely are extremely hard to locate. And of course, very rare because the demand of these coins were so high. Uh, and of course, only so few available to collectors. So what we have here are uh, 20 Balboa coins, 1977, 78, 81, uh, 80, and 85. Very popular, large coins. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is basically a proof coin. And a proof coin normally has what you call a frosted uh, device. So this kind here is a 20 Balboa 1978. And of course, the, the frosted device definitely is noted here on uh, the image uh, holding the flag and the sword. And of course, uh, the letter is definitely uh, highly struck up. And so you can uh, see the definition between the background and the design. So this is a proof version. Uh, normally these proofs are uh, basically uh, highly promoted by the Franklin Mint. And in this case, uh, their mintages are ranging around 
of 15 to 20,000 coins. And of course, uh, they were highly promoted by the Franklin Mint because this is where, uh, this is how they make their money on the proof coins. And of course, these are very large coins, uh, four ounce in weight uh, of silver. And on the back uh, is a frosted shield. And below the shield, you'll see uh, 925 fine on this particular coin. So this is a very large coin, but uh, highly promoted uh, because it's a proof coin. And this is where uh, the Franklin Mint gets uh, most of their revenue is selling the proof sets. So this is uh, a, much, a lot of these coins did see the melting pot, even the proof coins, because the mintage was so high. In this case, this, the 1978 uh, proof 20 Balboa had a mintage of around 15 to 20,000 coins. So uh, you could say that many of these coins did see the melting pot. The next one we're going to see is a 1977. Uh, this one here is a specimen struck coin. As you noted, the device, uh, the soldier, is and the background are consistent they're one and the same they're all proof like so there is no difference between the device or the design and the background so this is what you call a specimen strike strike coin and of course uh, the mintage for this particular coin is around 2500 coin struck and again since the coin has a large amount of silver Many of these coins did see the melting pot. And so this particular one gets to be extremely scarce since only a very few of these coins are available to collectors. And if we look on the reverse, again, uh, the shield does not stick out as you would see on the proof. And so this is all one uh, style of a proof-like uh, strike. So the device is the same as the background of this particular coin. Again, this one here had a limited mintage of around 2,500 coins struck. Uh, this is the specimen coins that makes uh, the proof legal tender. This is the normal circulation, or what you call commerce coin, struck for use in Panama. But of course, these are big coins, and they're not going to be carrying around these big coins for normal use. So... Uh, very limited number, uh, 2,500 coins. Many of these coins were melted so highly, uh, always in demand for this particular coin, uh, the specimen strike. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is a 1981. And this one here is the specimen. Also, it does not have the frosted device on the design. Uh, mintage on this particular one is all around 500 coins. And of course, uh, also these coins were so large when issued and many uh, were melted down. So uh, these are very highly desirable coins in specimen strike. Uh, the proof coins had a mintage of oh, thousands. Well, this one here has a mintage of less than 500 pieces definitely highly desirable always sought after due to the very low amount of coins struck for this particular year and the reverse very consistent the device and the background are all in specimen strike uh, it just is not the proof version uh, the proof version uh, is uh, definitely easily attainable this one here is a little bit more Difficult due to its low mintage of 500 or less coins. Definitely a very desirable coin. Uh, getting harder to locate. And these coins continue to increase in value compared to the proof version. Uh, next coin we have is a proof. So as you can see, the difference between a proof and a specimen the proof definitely has a nice frosted device with deep mirror field. Of course, the proof has a higher mintage 
This, these are the coins highly promoted by the Franklin Mint. Uh, and of course, will cost uh, the collector when first issued uh, a higher amount compared to the specimen coin. Normally, the specimen coins were released uh, within the country. And of course, only limited number of 500 coins were made of the specimen coin for this particular version. Uh, again, this, these, this particular coin is easily attainable. Uh, so if you're looking for this coin, you can easily find it. But if this was uh, the specimen coin, definitely only 500 of the specimen, specimen coins were struck. And of course, some of these coins were melted down because of their silver content. And definitely uh, the specimen is more desirable due to its lower mintage. This one had this particular coin had a mintage of around two to three thousand coins versus the specimen having around 500 or less coins. And on the reverse, uh, the shield, of course, very nice frosted device with mirror fields. Definitely a very nice proof coin, but easily attainable compared to the specimen strike. So if you want to uh, get the proof coin, you can easily attain this coin. Uh, and of course, this will run maybe a 100 to $200 uh, on eBay, whereas a specimen will run around 500 to $800, depending on the condition. Last we have is the 1985-20 Balboa. Uh, this one here is a beautiful coin. Uh, this one here, uh, as recorded, has a mintage of around 1,400 coins. And of course, as of yet, no specimen coins were struck for this particular year. So this is the only uh, coin available for the 1985. And you can only get the coin in proof condition. And this is a very nice, highly frosted proof with deep mirror field with a mintage of only 1,400 coins. So it is a very scarce coin in proof due to its low mintages. Okay. Hey, I'm recording, okay? What the hell you think you're doing? Shit. I gotta start all over.